Welcome to the NCAA uh, National Tournament press conference here. We're joined with Christopher Newport University head coach Bill Broderick, Sam Porter, and Mackenzie Fancher. And we're opening this press conference. Coach, if you could just give an opening statement on your thoughts of making it to this point in the tournament. Maybe talk a little bit about your team and its journey. I know you went on the road last weekend and won a very difficult sectional at Ohio Northern University. Uh, you have to be awfully excited to be at this point and for this opportunity. Just an opening statement to start. Yeah. Um, I guess first, uh, just you know, want to say how proud I am and really how happy I am for, um, for a, a great group of young ladies. Um, they've worked extremely hard. Um, you know, we, we've overcome a lot of different things this year. You know, we've had a lot of different injuries um, to keep people and have had different people out all season. And I think, you know, one of our uh, mantras this year has really been next woman up. And, um, and I think it's really hold true. And, you know, every year um, you have some injuries, but, um, you know, these guys have been able to persevere and step up and uh, really take advantage of it. Um, you know, coming from, uh, you know, the CAC, we really feel like it's one of the top conferences in the country. I know, you know, three teams in the NCAA tournament, two in the Sweet 16. And so we really feel like that prepared us well um, for where we're at. Um, and I think um, prepared us for going on the road last week you know, playing a, a Hope team that had just knocked off uh, Thomas Moore, who hadn't lost in whatever, two, three years, and to be able to battle them. And then, uh, you know, and then to come back, uh, you know, less than 48 hours and play an undefeated North, uh, Northern Ohio team, uh, Ohio Northern, in, um, you know, in their place, just a uh, great program, a uh, great coach. You know, they had a thousand of their closest friends there. And um, so to to win a game in that environment, you know, both games got within one or two points. And, um, you know, I think just really proud of the, the growth, you know, last year getting to the Sweet 16 and, you know, basically having a team of all sophomores and freshmen, we really didn't know what to expect. And to go into that environment, uh, sold out 2,500 fans in purple, um, you know, I'm just not sure we were ready for that moment. And so this journey where we are today, it started that day after that game in the locker room. Um, and this is where we wanted to be. Um, and so, you know, all the credit goes to um, these young ladies for really putting in the work. Well, let's uh, move on to the student athletes here a minute. Mackenzie, talk a little bit about your excitement to be a part of this group to get here, and what has this season been like uh, for you as a part of this team? Um, I think we're all really excited, and we've been really focusing on um, enjoying the moment. Uh, coach B talks about that a lot, and so do the assistant coaches. Is you know you put in the work you got here, enjoy every second of it. Um, this whole experience at the Final Four, from you know the moment we arrived. In Michigan to you know the game on Friday night uh, is just you know we're supposed to just take it all in and um, be blessed and grateful that we're here and I think our team really is and uh, really is grateful for the experience that we have because we put in the work um, and we got here we got the results we wanted and now we just uh, everyone's excited for the game everyone's just excited to you know be in Michigan and see all this cool stuff that NCAA that's that they're doing for us um, and I think the season's just been uh, like Coach B said last last year's loss at Scran was um, really an eye opener for us. It was like, told us that, you know, we are good, we made it, but we need to go that extra mile if we, if we want to get um, those results that, you know, we put down on our goals, on our goal sheet. So um, I think, like you said, it started in the locker room uh, last year. And for us to go through this whole season and win the first CAC championship uh, in CNU history was really, really neat for us. And to make it to the Sweet 16 again, and then to go uh, even further and make it to the final four. It's just been a surreal experience. Sam, for you, you've been on the road the last uh, two weekends here now, but I'm, I would assume that it's been awfully exciting. Your thoughts on this season so far? Yeah, almost everything Kenzie said. Go ahead. Almost everything that Kenzie said was perfectly said. Um, and just it's an awesome opportunity. Not everybody gets to come to the final four in their career, and it's it's just so surreal. Coach, can you talk a little bit about the style of play that your team presents? I watched your quarterfinal game against Ohio Northern. I know you try to push the tempo, speed up the game. You play a lot of players. Uh, just talk a little bit about your style and what 
your team is trying to do out there in the court? Yeah, we. Um, I guess we kind of have a different style than uh, than most Division three women's teams. Um, you know, I think we are really um, built on balance um, our team and you know while you know Sam and, and Mackenzie and Devin Bird uh, do get a lot of accolades and and the credit that they deserve um, you know we're really really based around um, just that balance and so you know Sam is the only one that's even in double figures for us um, our goal is to you know average 80 points a game and have 10 people average eight points a game if we could um, so we really we don't want to really count on any one person having a score for us. It's just kind of different people on different nights. Um, we really run our offenses based on what the defense has given us. And, you know, the ladies know that one night it might be somebody else and one night it might be there. So I think offensively, it's really just about balance. We preach open shots, the best shot. And um, and then I think, like you said, you know, just the speed um, and, and the, the speed of the game that we play at, we obviously practice the same way we play. It's very, very fast. Um, it's something that a lot of people are not used to, even when they come in. Um, the ladies talk about that's maybe the biggest transition for them is how, I mean, it, going from high school to college, the, the game, the speed of the game is faster anyway. And then the way we play, it's even faster than that. So it takes a little while and it's usually tougher for our freshmen uh, to really get into the rotation. Um, but yeah, we really want to try to speed you up, uh, make you play at a speed that you're uncomfortable at and try to score some points off of our defense. Um, you know, I think uh, defense rebounding, you know, those are things that we can bring. Those are things we can control every game. Um, you're going to have days where you shoot well and you don't. So, you know, it's, it's, it's worked pretty good for us so far. And so, you know, we feel like that's a, a huge reason why we're here. And so hopefully uh, it'll be a reason why we'll uh, continue to move on in this tournament. Sticking with Coach, can you talk a little bit about your opponent that you will play tomorrow and what you know uh, about your opponent and how you're preparing? Yeah. Um, you know, I think, um, you know, Amherst obviously is a, is a very good team, uh, a lot of experience. Uh, we're very familiar with the Doswell twins being that they're, you know, from an hour up the road. So I got a chance to see them many times. Um, and, you know, they're very, very similar to uh, Mary Washington or Mary Mountain, our league. Uh, I, know, I know they had a really close game with uh, Mary Washington early in the tournament. And so, you know, it's really going to be a, a contrast of styles. Um, you know, I got a chance to watch them in Tufts and, you know, they, they usually try to play first to 40 wins and we kind of try to play first to 80. So, um, you know, it, it'll be a big, big contrast in styles. But, you know, they've got a lot of seniors and a lot of veterans. They've been here before. Um, and, you know, but I think for us, the, you know, the one thing I like is, you know, they were expected to be here. Um, and so, you know, we, you know, we've heard the, oh, you know, Tufts versus Amherst round three at the finals and those things. So, you know, for us, it's really, um, you know, there's no pressure. Uh, you know, we, I'm not sure we were supposed to be here anyway. We were, you know, picked second in our own conference. But, um, you know, they're a very, very good team. Uh, but like I told the ladies, we're, we're pretty good too. And so um, we're just looking forward to the advantage uh, uh, of getting out there and, and playing and uh, seeing what we can do against one of the, uh, one of the premier programs in Division Three. A question for your student athletes. Maybe we'll, same question. We'll start with Sam and move over to McKenzie. You're talking about being very good. When I look at your athletic department and we're in national tournaments, I see Christopher Newport in basketball and football, soccer, volleyball, sure. baseball, you name it. So from a student athlete perspective, Sam, if you could first expound on it, and then Mackenzie, what's it like to be part of an athletic department where there's a culture of winning, you're mingling with, you know, students that are used to, student athletes that are used to going after it, going for championships? I would think that success breeds success. How is that like uh, the culture at Christopher Newport? Um, I would say it's everyone just wants the same thing. So everyone's set on the same goal of just winning and it's just basically the culture there uh not much 
Go ahead, Mackenzie. Um, like Sam said, it's it's just that culture, and I think it starts with our president too, President Tribble. He's just um, really supportive of all the students, and especially the student athletes. Uh, he comes to a lot of home games, which you know he's a president of a school, and he finds the time to come and support individual um, teams at home events, which I think is just amazing. Um, and he uh, actually came to our practice before we left for Final Four and congratulated all of us individually and just kind of wished us good luck and said, you know, go represent. Um, so I think it starts with him. And then there's a lot of support uh, between teams, too. Uh, we get people coming um, to basketball games, like the soccer teams, volleyball teams, baseball teams, and then in return, uh, we'll try to go as a team to other, te uh, other sports games, too, um, just to show that support and just to have that uh, culture of winning um, that starts uh, just in, you know, in practice and then to the team. Uh, and then just kind of goes across campus, I think is, um, it's really neat to be a part of. Mm -hmm. Final question uh, for coach, you're in your fifth year now and in your first year, you went all the way to the quarterfinals of the national tournament. What's it been like for you to take that next step? I know you were saying, well, maybe people didn't think that we would be here, we're not supposed to be here, but it's gotta feel pretty good to get to this next step and have an opportunity to maybe go another step or two beyond that. Talk about that. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, my first year, you know, I didn't, I didn't really know uh, what to expect. Um, and so, but we had a lot of juniors. Uh, there was a lot of talent there before I got there. And so uh, I think it was almost really just, just me kind of organizing and putting them in the right spots and then just kind of getting out of the way. Um, and so, and we obviously uh, played some really, really good teams uh, there and played Montclair State, who was undefeated, unbelievable program, extremely well coached, um, and was fortunate enough to get by them and, and then had to play host to Paul, um, who ended up winning the whole thing. And so, you know, that we, I, I learned a lot from that. And the following year with that same group, um, you know, having to go to Whitman on the road all the way across the country against a team that lost in the finals. Um, and then we kind of had to start over, you know, it was a new program, there was an interim coach. And so, you know, that next year we basically had one senior and then I had all these guys and four freshmen. And so we just kind of built it from there. So I think for me, um, it's very, very different than the group we had there versus where we are now, because these are, these are all players that I recruited, that I brought in, um, and that's really bought into my philosophy and our style and really take pride. And so for them to be at this point um, without really having any seniors that, that play at all, um, it, it's just, it's, you know, I'm just really, really proud of them. You know, I'm tough on them. I, I push them to their limits, sometimes even more than they, they think they have themselves. Um, but I think at the end of the day, they know I love them as if they're my own kids. I'll do anything for them. And so, um, you know, just really, really happy for them um, because, you know, most teams work really, really hard. Um, but despite what you're told when you're young, you know, sometimes it doesn't pay off or you don't get to where you're supposed to be because of all the hard work that you put in. Um, there are a lot of things that have to go right. You know, you've got to you've got to have some luck. You've got to be healthy. You've got to have good matchups. And so, you know, they know that, you know, while we hope to be here every year, sometimes it just doesn't go that way. So for us, like they said, you know, we're we're going to really take in the moment. We're going to enjoy everything. And, you know, despite whether anyone thought we were supposed to be here or not, um, you know, it's a business trip and we wouldn't have flown halfway across the country if we didn't think we could win this whole thing. So for us, we're here um, and we're going to lace them up and, you know, everybody's zero zero starting this weekend. So uh, whether it's Amherst, Tufts, um, UConn, it doesn't matter. I mean, we're going to go out and we're going to play as hard as we can. We're going to leave it all on the court. And then we know no matter what the score says, uh, we'll, we'll feel good about what we did. All right, very good. Well, thanks for stopping by, and uh, we'll be looking forward to talking to you after your game tomorrow night. Good. Thank you so much yep. for having us. You bet.